Anopheles gambia always bites people. In this small room live some of the most deadly and dangerous animals in the world. These are Anopheles mosquitoes that uh, still think that they're in Central Africa. Uh, we won't tell them. Anopheles gambia mosquitoes can be killers. In warmer climates, these bloodsuckers carry and spread diseases including malaria, the second most deadly transmitted disease in Africa. These captive mosquitoes are disease-free, but they still bite. How do they do this? What makes them so predisposed to bite humans? With support from the National Science Foundation, molecular biologist Lawrence Weibel and his team at Vanderbilt University want to find some answers. They know mosquitoes zero in on their next meal using their keen sense of smell. A mosquito can smell you and me from a very long distance and can track its way to you uh, based on odor plumes that you're giving off. This is the antenna of a female mosquito. They've identified odor receptors on the mosquito's antennae. They look like microscopic hairs. Different hairs target different smells. Anopheles hairs home in on human body odors, from the CO2 in our breath to the ammonia in our sweaty feet. This particular hair is sensitive to lactic acid, ammonia. The mosquito uses the odor sensors to scout her next meal. I say her because only female mosquitoes bite. They use it for reproductive purposes, uh, to make eggs. A female will drink her weight in blood when she takes a blood meal from you. Only females spread human disease. Zweibel and his team have isolated chemicals that target odor receptors and could in the future be used to formulate a new class of mosquito repellent, potentially more powerful than DEET. It would bombard them with so many strong odors, it would scare them away. It's literally uh, uh, screaming into a mosquito's nose. Zweibel says other insects, including agricultural pests, also have these receptors. But so do honeybees, so repellents would have to be used carefully. Better understanding of how the receptors work could one day help take the bite out of the mosquito's ability to spread deadly disease. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.